Takže vítajte na tejto uh, interpretačnej hodine, seminári, lekcii. Uh, momentálne sme v Slovenskom rozhlase a prebiehajú kurzy komornej hry a interpretačné kurzy, uh, konvergencii a zároveň Slovenského mládežnického orchestra. Uh, je dnes 6. Uh, júla 2020 a ja chcem tu privítať Hodu Jahampur, welcome. Thank you. Hoda is actually originally from Slovakia, but now lives in England, in Manchester. As you live, you live in Manchester because you study. Where do you study and with whom now? I study at the Royal Northern College of Music with Nicholas Jones. And thank you also to Alena Puchkova. She is going to help us with the piece, which you are going to play for me and for us. Uh, so what is it going to be? Um, the first movement of Elgar's cello concerto. Okay, so let's listen. <laughs>
Bravo. <laughs> so that's the end of the first movement. Uh, so uh, thank you. Very nice playing. Now, <clears throat> so what's the uh, what's the character or atmosphere you like to communicate with us in this in this piece, in general? Now, in overall. I think it's very emotional. Um, but what kind of what kind of emotion? It's like someone's been through many, many difficulties in life and they've seen really horrific things and now they're like reflecting on that mm -hmm. or they're um, So do you think it's uh, also connected to that context of, uh, the, of the piece? We were talking even be be before this uh, lesson a little bit about the context of this uh, concerto. What do you know about the context of when Elgar wrote it and composed it? What was the impulse to it? So he started writing it in 1919, so the year after World War One finished. Um, so obviously, so actually, that's the, I just realized that is the same year as Stravinsky's Soldier's Tale. Yeah, <laughs> that's exactly. So many not good things were happening after First World War. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but we can see that clearly. Like he's showing a lot of like pain about the tragedy mm -hmm. that took place. So it's not very happy music in no. a sense, no? So w what, what, how would you describe it with words, if you can? Very soulful. Mm -hmm. Is um, it melancholic maybe also? Yeah, or is it uh, pain from the past as you described it? But maybe, is there any hope in it as yeah, well? Yeah, definitely. Or there's... Well, in there's next a, movement, the maybe. next movement. In this movement, I think there's a part where maybe he's uh, like thinking about the good times mm -hmm. um, when it's when it was in the in the yeah in the past in the past um, mm -hmm. and then he comes back back to like reality. Does it re you are living now in Britain? Yeah. In England, does it remind you of British something? Um, I think it reminds me a little bit of like British Empire in the twentieth century was still powerful. Um, yeah. Okay, so let's start. Let's start from the beginning. So let's do theme by theme. So the grand opening, you are the person which are coming in medias res into the, into the uh, stage, basically. So uh, try to make the sound the way that it starts with the appropriate uh, character. So the, the, the opening is very grand comparing to the next main theme. So try to make this kind of entree as it is written. So is it, what, what dynamic is there? Fortissimo. Fortissimo? Fortissimo, okay, so let's start. <laughs> So, so how to create such a resonance in the instrument that it doesn't have to be with your power? So how would you do it in a sense of... Uh, so what's the important to make that sound? One is... Well, tell me if you know. Maybe one thing is where I am. It's a contact point, mm -hmm. so I should probably be closer so to the bridge. The, the place, which is yeah. very important. And then... Um, Weight, arm weight, mm -hmm. probably speed. Maybe like if I, if I, you know, like use more um, movement, mm -hmm. get going into it, it'll give me more strength. And uh, and also what else? But the third element is what? Bow. How much bow you put in it mm -hmm. as well? So if you want to resonate, you cannot push really because then you kill the resonance of the instrument. Try to make it more. With more move rather than rather than push. Okay, and you have you have.
have enough time, Hoda. And the, the gaps between each chord make it as, as small as possible. So my Is there written anything like nobilmente? Mm -hmm. So so something very grandiose and, and big. So try it once again. Can you make a little bit more bass? Like like more bass? Excellent. Try to go quite fast on these was on, on these eights. Try to do it very uh, articulate them properly. It's still opening. Like articulate each note. You are not in a hurry. There, it's adagio, so it's really slow. It's very big. And so uh, bring it to the sforzato, really. Mm -hmm. So you are starting with fortissimo, but here it should be even more. There is crescendo into the sforzato, and diminuendo starts after this after the C, that's the point where you are going from the beginning, basically, no? Mm -hmm. Can we go together? finishing and orchestra starts okay can you start th this way maybe mm -hmm. the phrasing <laughs> Oh, sorry to interrupt. Of course, you wait for the orchestra. And then you have, you have enough bow to make it very big crescendo there to the last note. So let's go on. And now you have time, Hoda. Let's, let's, is, is there ad libitum written? Mm. I think it's ad libitum. So you have, it's up to you. It's on your own, it's your space. And you can understand, how do you understand this, this intermezzo album, this bridge to the, to the exposition, basically? Well, it's connecting the intro to mm -hmm. the theme. Yes, game. but uh, what's the structure of it? Um, Mu musically. It's like the the three phrases. times. Yes, this. exactly. So f you have three steps, basically. First, first one, second one, and now the third one is leading already to the beginning of what she starts. Wait, <laughs> and now. 
So you were a little bit too fast, I think, because mm -hmm. there is even in ad libitum there is retardando. Mm -hmm. So you have more time, more space. So try okay. once again and do it as a little entree to the story. Mm -hmm. So don't be in a rush. This, uh, what is it? This, this E sharp, to me, it's a little bit too low. And also, I'm, I'm losing, I think you are losing a little bit energy in the third step. Mm -hmm. It's maybe, maybe too much of a, uh, I don't know what's your direction. Where mm -hmm. do you go? To which tone? Mm. To which uh, place you are going? So. Uh, this is clear, of course. I would even have a little breath here after this and now. So you go, this is the resolution, but keep it make it clear that you go there. Mm -hmm. There is a little trick, sorry. <laughs> you did you recognize that she's lower than you finish? Mm -hmm. So you have to think of that because that's that's kind of intonation issue. Mm. That you meet with orchestra or mm -hmm. piano in this case, she's she has a temper temper of an eladenie, temper tuning. tuning. So so you can't be so high mm -hmm. because then you don't meet so you have to really meet her her f sharp so actually it has to go a little bit lower mm -hmm. can you play last time this this uh, this melody stop you now uh, so beautiful what makes this what kind of a dynamic first do you have piano piano so I think maybe you could be even more intimate mm -hmm. this is very intimate team but on the other side it's kind of unearthly it's like above mm -hmm. something and uh, so you have to make it very connected mm -hmm. the phrasing should be really uh, how to say it in English, like uh, like never ending, really. Like you have a reverb all the time. <laughs> so what does it, what kind of technique you can use it for? It? What, what you can do with it? To well, make it more uh, connected, mm -hmm. not gaps, not mm -hmm. fragmented. Well, one thing is I need to do vibrato on the eighth notes as well, because I don't think I always do that. There's one thing, but actually the... But it's more of the bow. Bow, exactly. Yeah. That, I think that's, that's more important that you that work with bow. Try to make it that each note is really... You really uh, keep the, the length of the, each note, even when you change the bow. 
Much better, much much better. And look, basically the first crescendo is only after C sharp. Mm -hmm. So, but not big one because it's coming, you yeah. have a long way to go to fortissimo. Yeah. Okay, but this was really nice. I think that was very very nice. Uh, let's go with piano directly from the from your sure. theme, and you can be even more lighter in a sound. Don't worry about the the dynamics. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, hold on, this. Even, you can play it even a little bit longer as, as stretch it a little mm -hmm. bit. Very nice. Uh, now you were a little bit too uh, insecure in this, so I know you are looking for, searching for that, but be, uh, even in that intimacy character, be, be free in that playing. I know it's not easy. <clears throat> and now the opening of the sound is great, and now when it starts this... Keep the same character in a sense of the length of the notes. Mm -hmm. Now it should be Wide. even more bigger, wider, okay? Mm -hmm. Can you go somewhere before, uh, maybe from, what is it, the, the letter? Three? Three, number three. Stop you now. Uh, the poco alargando starts actually after this, mm -hmm. not from the beginning. So if you start poco alargando or alargando in general, you will really not help the connection with the orchestra. You have to be in tempo in the beginning of this this scale. Okay. But still, this sostenuto fortissimo, this uh, the main theme, it should be even more. Uh, <laughs> can be more grand and and free in in your move mm -hmm. try uh, uh, can you go from this melody before this four upbeats <laughs> okay sorry one more comment 
<clears throat> that uh, one thing it's I can feel a little bit is think of a big lines, bigger lines. <laughs> So and here you can make it grandiose or bigger because they are the, the orchestra is taking the theme. But this beginning of this scale was great. Let's go on. Great, thank you. So now this is like a new, what does it remind you? I mean, is it something, the beginning was really, I don't know, melancholic, sad, Sorry. painful. Now it's kind of a new hope mm -hmm. here. And you know, this is almost not like a concerto. It's like a symphony with a solo cello part where you are in dialogue with orchestra, which is very beautiful. So take advantage of it and listen when she's playing the main melody and then you repeat or you mm -hmm. start or she repeats or kind of it's a really dialogue mm -hmm. um, maybe bring that character already mm -hmm. in here from a tempo can we go from a tempo seven once again and that we know that something new is coming and be quite uh, precise in these rhythmical structures uh, yes. Hold on, I think more, uh, more emotion. I would like to hear more emotion. Uh, she starts. Yeah. And even more. I think you should be in tempo. And 
Now change the harmony and you bring it. It's a good op opportunity to try different, maybe. Okay. Try on one string, so it's... I know it's kind of spider style. Yeah? Slowly, slowly. Just different option for you, but it's it has one color. The whole mm. the whole, and you are not going to be covered by the orchestra really. Mm. So that's just other option that instead of how do you play that? <laughs> mm -hmm. That's also possible, but I prefer one color of the whole sh whole uh, scale. So try maybe, try to experiment with that as well. Uh, let's go from, from there somewhere. Um, one bar before 10. Mm -hmm. Should I try this finger? <laughs> if you are enough brave, yes. <laughs> I'm not gonna, it might not work, but I'll try. Be brave. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go on. That's okay. Okay. Eleven. Um, <laughs> Listen to the orchestra. We're not so important here. Now. Sorry, I okay, so going. you have to more listen to the orchestra, and this is this is not so important. But now, then you take over. Yeah. Okay, here. Okay, let's go from there. It's too much of slowing down, I think, okay. because of the scale of the whole movement. Mm -hmm. But uh, I wanted to, uh, I wanted to, uh, yes. That's quite important theme. This try to make a little bit of more expressive vibrato and emotion there. It's a little bit too flat. Mm -hmm. Okay, try to play this. Just, just the, what's the number? 12 or 12, what is it? 12. 12? Let's play 12. That's nice. Let's go on and a tempo. And 
and now it's coming to the memory what was in the beginning How to how, how do you, you find, find how do you find without trying it? I don't know. Do the system. If I put first finger on A. Well, try to first of all listen what kind of note you have in your mind, and then just go. That let your let your finger risk it. That it's it finds its way. Mm -hmm. Okay. Can you play a little bit before? Hold on, hold on. That was quite good. And even it's fortissimo, but make more sound than vibrato. Hmm. Not that it's like like this, but more sound. You have to really go against the whole orchestra now. Mm. So you really have to try, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you very much. All the best to your next movements <laughs> to whole concerto. Okay, that's it from us. <laughs> thank you.